Well, we're dealing with some mighty cold air, no question about that. Not every year do we have ponds and rivers freeze up, but this is one of those winters where it's certainly that way. Brush Creek absolutely frozen across. Bordner Home Improvement City Cam from the Intercontinental Hotel looking out over the plaza. Now look at this, 19 degrees in Kansas City, but you take a short little 25 minute drive up the road in St. Joe is at five. Temperatures will reach single digits here eventually, but again, it may take a little parting of the clouds for that to happen. Wind chill temperatures, again, not much breeze out there, so once those clouds break up a little bit, and they should after midnight, down go those temperatures. You'll wake up to four degrees above zero. North winds just trickling in at less than eight miles per hour. But again, it is out of the north, so it's dragging that upper Midwest air in here, even at that very gentle pace. By nine o'clock, still single digits. 16 at noon, we will work up to almost 20 degrees tomorrow and a little bit of sunshine as well. So your Thursday will begin to see at least some of the treated roads continue to soften up a little bit. A little bit of light flurry activity. And snow flurries are actually a good thing, keeping the clouds in place and the heat at the surface. But this is really interesting. Tupelo, Mississippi, snow. Huntsville, Alabama, snow. All of Tennessee, snow. And guess what's going on in the Rockies? Yeah, more of that stuff. And it's heading our way, too. Check it out. Basically, right between I-70 and I-80 is where this little band of snow will be working out across the plains, eventually working into our area, catching northeast Kansas, northern Missouri. But it's brief. It's Sunday, mostly in the morning, and whoosh, just like that, it's gone. Doesn't leave much in its wake. So again, just like every other snow, it doesn't amount to much. Maybe an inch up toward that Iowa state line, but closer into the metro. Maybe a fine little dusting that catches part of Platte and Clay counties. Most of the metro may not see anything at all. So if you are traveling, especially if you're heading up north this weekend, stay in your vehicle if your vehicle ends up stranded. Always keep your cell phone fully charged no matter when you travel. And in the wintertime especially, try to keep that gasoline level at a half tank or higher. 19 is your high on Thursday. 29 Friday and the mornings are going to be downright bitter. So again, we'll keep this Arctic blast going all the way through the end of the week and then a bit of a break mid 30s Saturday and Sunday. There's your snow chance that you saw whipping by. And again, that stays in northern Missouri Monday 44. Some snows melting. A lot of it's gone on Tuesday. And if there are leftover piles, I think about all of that should be gone by Wednesday. The weekend will begin to see a break in this Arctic air blast as highs work to above freezing for the first time since February the 5th. Mardi Gras Mad Dash is going on Saturday and the RV show at the Overland Park Convention Center is going on this weekend as well. You might want to check those out in Carolyn for the first time in a long time over the weekend, maybe we can go outside again. Yeah, at least above freezing. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Gary.